Many people used to think that kidney disease always gets worse and can't be stopped, but science disagrees. There was a special study with more than 400 patients who had kidney problems, and it went on for more than eight years. And you may not believe it. Experts say that even people in the later stages of kidney disease, like stages four and five, can get better if they do the right things. You can take control of your kidney health by following five important steps, which I am going to show you in today's video. So, without any further delay, let's begin. Step 1. Take control of oxalates. Eating lots of fruits and veggies is really good for our kidneys, but sometimes it can be confusing what's good and what's not. Some foods, like spinach and nuts, have something called oxalates. Oxalates are natural compounds found in many plant-based foods. These compounds can stick together and form crystals in your kidneys if you have them too much. But don't worry, because you don't have to say no to these foods completely. It's about finding balance. You can do that in two ways. First, some foods, like the ones with lots of calcium, can help keep those oxalates in check. Calcium has a tendency to bind with oxalates, making it easier for them to pass through the kidneys, reducing their chances of forming stones. Second, boiling veggies can actually help lower oxalates, so eating boiled veggies can lower the chances of getting kidney stones. Fiber, which is mostly found in fruits and veggies, can also help keep oxalate levels in check. Fiber has a tendency to bind with oxalates in the gut, preventing them from absorbing and getting into the bloodstream. Low oxalate levels in the bloodstream mean lesser chances of developing oxalate stones. So, as you can see, it's all about balance, adding good foods, and making smart choices. And stay tuned for more kidney-saving tips coming up in Step 2. But before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Step 2. Use fiber to get rid of uremic toxins. Okay, listen up. Here's another trick to help your kidneys out. Have you ever heard of uremic toxins? Uremic toxins are certain waste products and harmful compounds that can build up in the blood, especially when the kidneys are unable to effectively filter and excrete them from the body. These toxins can form due to the breakdown of proteins, the metabolism of amino acids, and other metabolic processes. They can increase the levels of creatinine, urea, and nitrogen-based compounds in your body, particularly when your kidneys aren't healthy enough and can excrete them out of your body. The fiber in your food, particularly soluble fiber, binds with water and forms a gel-like substance in your gut. This gel can bind to waste products, including uremic toxins, and prevent them from getting into your bloodstream. One very rich source of soluble fiber is acacia fiber, also known as acacia gum or gum arabic. It is derived from the sap of the acacia senegal tree. Acacia gum typically contains a high percentage of soluble fiber, roughly 85 to 95 percent of its weight. And surprisingly, some studies show that people with serious kidney problems can even avoid dialysis for up to eight years with its help. Anyhow, being a soluble fiber, acacia fiber helps prevent too much bad stuff from getting absorbed in your bloodstream, like uremic toxins, which can be particularly good for you if you have kidney disease. Step 3. Increase your vitamin D intake. You might wonder how can one vitamin really make a big difference? Well, studies show that about 80% of people with kidney issues need more vitamin D. Not just that, a deficiency in vitamin D has been linked to the development of kidney disease, making it a key nutrient to focus on. Having enough vitamin D levels can help you regulate your blood pressure, support your bone health, and even help lower your creatinine levels. Moreover, proteinuria is a condition when there is too much protein in the urine and is often a sign of kidney damage. Luckily, vitamin D has also been shown to prevent this condition, helping to protect your kidneys from further harm. There's a test called the 25-hydroxyvitamin D test. If its reading is below 30 nanograms per milliliter, experts say it's not so great. Taking vitamin D is simple. Just take around 2,000 international units of vitamin D daily with a bit of vitamin K2 and magnesium. And if your kidney issues are more serious, there are other special kinds of vitamin D supplements that your doctor can prescribe you. Step 4. Beat what's causing it. When it comes to your kidneys, you've got to stop the damage at its source. 
Did you know that nearly one in two people with kidney issues also have diabetes? Yes, diabetes is arguably the most common cause of kidney disease. Many people thought that if they had type 2 diabetes for more than six years, there was no turning back. But surprisingly, studies show that even if you've had type 2 diabetes for a whopping 11 years, you can reverse it. Amazing, right? So how can you tackle diabetes naturally? Start with your diet. Recent studies show that just changing what you eat can actually put diabetes in reverse gear. Let me introduce you to a natural remedy against type 2 diabetes, apple cider vinegar. All you need to do is take 1 to 2 tablespoons of unfiltered ACV and dilute it in a glass of water. Drink it before meals, 2 to 3 times a day. This drink can help you lower your blood sugar levels and can even make your body respond better to insulin. But wait, ACV can also help you lose weight. During a study, experts observed that people who had about 15 milliliters of ACV with lunch and dinner lost almost double the weight compared to others. Obesity or too much weight is also a major risk factor for diabetes and heart disease. So having one to two tablespoons of ACV daily can really help you avoid many health conditions, including kidney disease. Step five, make some easy changes in your diet. In addition to the tips that I've given you in the first four steps, making a few easy changes to your diet can help you recover from your kidney disease. Reduce your intake of sodium salts to help manage your blood pressure and fluid retention. Avoid processed and packaged foods, which often contain high levels of sodium. Depending on the stage of kidney disease, you may also need to reduce your protein intake. High protein intake can put additional strain on the kidneys, especially if you already have kidney stones or chronic kidney disease. Consult with a healthcare professional to find out how much protein is safe for you to eat. Experts say that potassium can be actually good for people with healthy kidneys and even many of them with early stage kidney disease. However, if you have advanced stage kidney disease, your kidneys may be having trouble regulating potassium levels. In that case, you must limit your intake of high potassium foods, such as bananas, oranges, tomatoes, and potatoes. Always try to avoid things made of refined carbs, like white bread, white rice, and pasta. Instead, opt for complex carbohydrates, like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. These things are usually high in fiber, help you manage your blood sugar levels, and provide energy without putting extra stress on your kidneys. Limit alcohol consumption, as excessive alcohol can affect kidney function and can interact with the medications that you might be taking. Moreover, if you have diabetes, managing your blood sugar levels is crucial for kidney health. Work with your healthcare team to control your diabetes effectively. And lastly, keep yourself hydrated, because water helps your kidneys remove extra waste and toxins easily and effectively. If you are already a kidney patient, ask your healthcare expert about how much water you must drink at least. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.